This is Todd back in the JCR Off-Road Garage. Today, we're gonna to be installing our chase rack on a 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Let's get started. Included in the box, you're gonna get a center rail, a left and a right. You are also going to get these clamps to use if you're not utilizing the bed rail system and all the associated hardware. The next step is installing the side piece. Now, depending on what you're going to use to mount it will depend on which piece of hardware you're actually going to use. These are for mounting to just the actual bedside itself, and these are actually for use with the factory uh, optioned uh, bed rail system. If you are using the bed rail system with these, you're simply going to take the carriage bolts, put, uh, put them through both holes, slide it into the rail, and then bolt the piece to it. <clears throat> if you're using the clamps, you're going to take the same carriage bolts, put them through here, and then use these on the underside. Okay, so because we don't have the bed rail system, we are actually going to be using the clamps. Now, when you install the clamps, we find it a little bit easier to go ahead and just get everything started off the bedside before we install it. So the shorter angled part versus the 90 is actually going to point uh, towards the top, towards it, so just simply slide it underneath and then you're going to use a washer and then the serrated lock nut. Okay, once you have it roughly aligned, go ahead and just take your clamps, push them up behind the bed rail here. And then we're just snugging these so that it will hold the rail in place. One thing to pay attention to is as you're pulling the bolts through, make sure that the carriage bolt is actually rotated so it's sitting down inside the bracket and it's not turned. Otherwise, as you tighten it, it can cause it to pull in funny and possibly strip. Okay, now that we have both sides installed, we're gonna go ahead and install our center section. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and slide the center rail down in between and then using the button head and serrated nuts, go ahead and start one here. And then go ahead and install the other three. Remembering to install them loosely so we can make adjustments. Okay, and now we'll do the same on the other side. Once you've installed your center section, it's time to adjust and tighten everything. So the side pieces, again, we're just eyeballing them to try to make sure that we're straight with the front of the bed. Once you've done that, go ahead and tighten down these clamps. Now, you want to make sure before you tighten these that you have them as far up in the bedside as you can get them. The closer you get to this bend, the stronger connection it is. I've already went ahead and done that. You're gonna go ahead and use a half inch socket or end wrench to tighten these up. For the side to side, what we aim for is to try to basically match the angle of the hard top. You can go in or out just a little bit depending on how you like. Now, there shouldn't be too much gap up inside on the rail here uh, when you have it fairly centered. You're gonna use a 3 16 Allen to go ahead and tighten these button heads up you might find that if you have like a T-handle like this, that it doesn't necessarily fit in the front. So you're either gonna need to use like a shorter Allen or just a socket. As you're snugging these up, if you do find the nut wants to turn a little bit, go ahead and just hold it with a half inch end wrench. And that concludes installation of the JCR Off-Road Gladiator Chase Rack. If you have any questions on this or any of the other products that we offer, don't hesitate to reach out and give us a call at 269-353-1184 or shoot us an email at info at jcroffroad.com.